make their best pierogies in northeastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. They're the best in town. Nobody compares to them. The dough is delicious. They're full of the fillings and uh, they don't t seem to take any shortcuts. We put a whole lot of work and love into them. For more than 30 years, the volunteers here at St. Stanislaw Church in Youngstown have been putting in the hours to make sure that every Friday, fresh homemade pierogies are on the menu. Basically, pierogi is a Slavic uh, type of food that everybody enjoys, and it's just like a heartwarming food. We make um, potato, which is a potato and cheese, and then a sauerkraut and a cottage cheese, which is a slightly sweeter mixture. We usually get the potato. And potato. Oh, easy potato. I waver between potato and sauerkraut. My favorite is the potato and kraut. I usually get all three, but usually I, I've been getting the sauerkraut because I'm doing a low-carb thing. I like them all. You know, it's one of those foods that when the weather's bad, you just want to eat, and we get a large kraut. We always think when the weather's bad, we're not going to have anyone, and those are our busiest days. And it's a longer process than one might think. We start on Tuesdays, and we have a crew that comes in and actually peels potatoes, and we do an average of 2 to 250 pounds, 250 pounds. Wednesday, they actually cook the potatoes and mash them up, and they make little balls for us to put into the pierogi. Thursday, we come in, and you can see we pinch them. Right here, we have processing the dough. John over here is making it into balls so that it can go through our machine. Don here is the one who does the dough for us. He's also the one on Tuesdays that peels the potatoes. And then we have Frank who's cutting them out into the circles. And those are what we use to put the filling into and pinch. Have all of our volunteers who are actually taking our filling, putting it into the little plotsky, which we call our little round, and they pinch it closed to make the pierogi. Right now we're on the potatoes. Oh, we've been doing it for years, these ladies, and they just got it down pat on how to make that dough so good. They're the best. I mean, they're homemade. We, we make the plotsky homemade, and we, we use real potatoes for the potato plotskis, and uh, the sauerkraut is just grand. I mean, it's out of this world. We always know they're homemade, no two look alike. This is our kitchen, and this is where we cook. Our cooks put them in the boiling water, put them immediately after they're boiled into a ice bath. And that stops the cooking process. And then after that, they take them out, and then we put them in large tubs where we refrigerate them. And Friday, we sell them. 317 and 320. We serve lunches here from 11 to 1 on Fridays. And our lunch crowds average from 100 to 130 people. And then we have a lot of people who just come in and take them home. They've been selling pierogies at St. Stanislaw ever since the 1980s when Father Naroda came to the church. And he decided that uh, our, ch our churches needed something to get the people together, uh, to socialize a little bit. We started basically selling to our parishioners, and then word got out how delicious they were. <laughs> and everyone started coming in, and it just went from there, and it's been going for 37 years. We can use more help because we can't sell enough of these pierogies. But if anybody wants to volunteer, we're always welcome to have some people here. A lot of these people that volunteer, we have different age groups. We have people that are into their 90s. On our Wednesday nights, we have like some 12-year-olds that help out. The people are wonderful. You make a lot of friends. You socialize. You have a good time while you're talking and pinching. And it just works. It's a really nice hobby to have. Pierogi orders can be placed Thursday mornings by calling the kitchen at 330-747-3024. It's best to order Thursday mornings because we do tend to sell out. And if you could call Friday morning also, but your chances are a little slimmer of being able to get an order in then. We got a Cleveland and Akron calling every once in a while because there's how good they are. I mean, I'm impressed how much they are. You'll have to try one and you'll see what I mean.